Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Marks Digital uh, M MXB 8000 watt amplifier. Now this is going to be the version 1. They have a version 2. I'll leave both in the description if you want to purchase one. Um, but yeah, let's get this thing out of the box and see what what it is. Like, let's let's just look at this thing. Hey guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redoto Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sir One Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. Alright, back to video. Alright guys, so let's see. So we got some caution. I'm just going to put that to the side right now. We got a huge decal sticker. Marsh Digital decal sticker. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this because I already have one and it's just really big. But if you like your big stickers, then uh, yeah, this thing comes with it. All right, so here's gonna be the Marshall Digital Manual. We'll take a look at this in a second. But right now we're gonna put it to the side. Let's get this thing out of the wrapping. And, oh, and it also comes with a little base knob. The base knob is, I think it's, let's get this thing out a little bit, let's see. So it just has power, I don't think it has clip. On the version two, it has voltmeter, clip, power, all that good stuff. Um, let's put this to the side as well. And let's get this thing out. All right guys, taking it out of the wrapping here, let's take a look at this thing. So it comes with a power protect, or clip and protect. Uh, and it also has a voltmeter right there, volts. Uh, March Digital, it has a really nice purple, little uh, galaxy looking finish. Uh, 8,000 watts, one ohm. Let's take a look at the side. So this thing is pretty hefty. So give me a second here. All right guys, so on the version one, it does not come with two power and ground, but on the version two, it does. So um, this one, I'm, I have my reducers just in case I needed this. Uh, so I'm gonna be hooking it up to the reducers. So I have uh, both power and ground, two power and grounds hooked in the car already. And yeah, so that's good. So we have two fans right there and right there. We have uh, four screw points. As you can see, four screw points. And yeah, let's look at the other side. All right guys, so we have one inputs for um, RCAs. We got subsonic, low pass, gain, and bass boost, and remote. And then over here we have speaker output terminals. I think that's eight gauge, uh, eight gauge terminals. And we also it also has Allen wrenches comes with Allen wrenches and these have Phillips screws. So i um, not the hugest fan on Phillips screws on um, setting your crossovers and gains, but it's all right. Everybody has a Phillips screw uh, driver. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the insides just, for, just so y'all can see it. I'm not a professional on um, amplifiers, so y'all let me know in the comments if it's any good or not. All right guys, for people that are uh, interested and know a lot about this leave it in the comments let me know if it's any good or not so here's the the guts of the amplifier and uh yeah we have the fans right here um but i'm not that much of a of a techie guy on uh, amplifier so just let me know in the comments know what you see and yeah let's get this thing in the car all right guys so we got it all hooked up to the car and we are reading 13.3. Let's see what this one's reading. Just, just to check it out. That one's reading 13.9. So the battery is 13.9, but the amp is receiving 13.4. So we'll see how much that differs. But yeah, let's get this thing uh, tuned. Set the gains. I'm not gonna set the gains very aggressive because uh, these subs can't really handle the full of the AK. So I'm probably gonna set it to about 5,000 or 6,000. And uh, yeah, let's see how it does. All right guys, so this is gonna be the March Digital 8K. So we got it all hooked up to the car. Got some three Big Jeff lithium batteries, uh, Timpano uh, TPT 2500, and my SMD is all the way over there. My seatbelt's a little bit in the way. Uh, so let's get, let's get it to, um, let's get to testing. So let's see how much this thing can do. We're gonna go up into clipping. So uh, yeah, let's see how much we can get. So we're gonna do 35 Hertz, 40 Hertz, and 45 Hertz. Uh, and I have my uh, SMD on dyno mode, so let's get it. All right guys, this is 35 Hertz. Let's get it. All right guys, so let's see what we pulled. 
we pulled, it went, rose up to 1.1 ohms, 6,639 watts. So these, these subs are hooked down to a uh, half an ohm, so it rose 0.6 ohms. Um, yeah, we're, we're a little bit shy of the 8K. Uh, so let's check out the 40 hertz. All right guys, let's get the 40 hertz up into clipping. So let's do it. Got my dyno mode set over there, so let's do it. So we got 5,191 watts at 1.4 ohms. Uh, again, we're a little bit shy. Let's go to 45 hertz. All right, guys, 45 hertz. We're sitting at 13.32 volts. So let's get this. Let's see what we get. We're on uh, dyno mode again. All right, 45 hertz. All right, let's see what we got. We got, if you can see that, 1.3 ohms, 5,071 watts. All right, guys, that's the March Digital uh, 8K. This thing really, this thing is actually the version one. The version two is uh, actually supposed to be very, very upgraded. So um, if y'all want to see that, let me know in the comments. This thing really pulls the amps. Um, I really do think it will hit rated power if I had more uh, volts running into my system. So maybe I'll. I need to maybe upgrade more electrical before I could do that. If y'all have any suggestions, leave, please leave it in the comments. And uh, yeah, if y'all like this amp, it looks really, really nice. Go down in the link in the description. It's an affiliate link for the Amazon. Anything you, any, If you click that link and purchase anything off Amazon, it will help me out. And also, check out my affiliates. Uh, my big one is going to be Big Jeff Audio. Use code uh, BASEMENACE for 5% off your order. And yeah, all that will also help out the channel. And it actually helps out you at the same time. So guys, if y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you think in the description or in the uh, comment section, what you think about this amp and what you think about my whole system. And uh, I'm really looking forward to whatever you have to say. And I reply to almost every single comment. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. Gee, we go. All along, I've been all along.